Okay guys, we are talking about biostat concepts. Now, basic statistics concepts. Now, in this video, I am going to talk about ogives. Okay. Now, what are ogives actually? Uh, the term is completely new to you, I know that. But ogives are simply graphical representation of uh, the variable with cumulative frequency. Now, to understand what ogive, it's a simply graphical representation of cumulative so it's a graphical representation of cumulative frequency with the data or with variable okay with the variable so this is simply what we call an ogive now in this case we put cumulative frequencies in the y axis and we put the data or variable in the x axis to get this particular graph now what is cumulative frequency so cumulative frequency is a something which which is giving us the idea about how many data points are placed previous of that and how many data points are after that that means this is different from a normal frequency let me tell you the example otherwise it will be difficult for you so let me give you a data set first so the data set that we are having is an age which is in years and then frequency or absolute frequency small f now the age is say 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and the frequencies are here say 5 10 27, 18, 6, 16, 38, and 9. So say this is the data set that they have provided us. Now this is called the absolute frequency. That means the number of times the age is repeating. Here the, the age 10 repeated 5 times. So the frequency of the age 10 is 5. Now the, this age 11 is repeated 10 times. So the frequency is 10. But by looking at this frequency, what we can tell is that the corresponding value of that or corresponding data variable, which is 11 years. So we can tell by looking at this frequency that the 11 year age is repeated 10 times. So if this whole is a population, then among this whole population, 11 number uh, of age or the age 11 or, uh, or people having age 11 is 10. So there are 10 people in that population, in this whole population, having the age 11. So the only information that we get by looking at the frequency is this. But when we draw the cumulative frequencies, those cumulative frequencies can tell us not only about the number of people, uh, how many people having this age, but it can tell us how many people are there below the age of 11. Okay, so this is the importance of cumulative frequency. Okay, so now let's draw cumulative frequency or simply it is giving us Fc here. Okay, and the cumulative frequency F sub C is uh, the denoted uh, part. So what, how can we get this? So the cumulative frequency is designated, it, 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 is, uh, it can be formed by simply adding the actual frequencies, by simply adding the absolute frequencies. And the first frequency that we get in the uh, absolute frequency is exactly same for the cumulative frequency because there is nothing above this particular absolute frequency in this frequency table so the first thing is will be this 5 which is same for both cumulative frequency and absolute frequency then what we need to do we need to add this frequency with the frequency below now here is the frequency 10 plus 5 it will give us 15 so you get it by 10 plus 5 after that we get this value 15, we will add this value with the next frequency. Here it is 27. So here we, what we do, we simply 27 plus 15, we get 42. Then what we get 42, we add this with the next frequency which is 18 and what we get 60. Then we take the 60, add with the next frequency which is 6, get 66. Then you take this 66, add with the next frequency 16, we get 82. We will take this 82, we'll add it with this next frequency which is 38, 
and what we what will be the value? One one two zero. And we take one to zero and the next frequency is nine, so the value will be one twenty nine. So here we get the cumulative frequency table. Now you can imagine, you can see here the frequency is getting increased as we are going down through this data table. This is the magic of cumulative frequency. The cumulative frequency can be of addition type, it can be of deletion type. Now for this one, what we do is simply add all these frequencies. It can be of deletion type. For example, if we use the deletion type, then the first one should be here, this is. Second, what we do, we'll delete this one from this 10. So 10 minus 5 will be 5. Then again take 5, we'll uh, subtract it for 7, 27 and we get another value. So this is, these are called the deletion type and this is the addition type. Okay. Now this cumulative frequency, now let's look at here. So once we get the, uh, the cumulative frequency of the corresponding age 11 is 15. So if we take this value, which is cumulative frequency 15, it is telling us that there are 15 people in the population having the age below 11. Now if you take this one as a cumulative frequency 82, the corresponding age is 15. So there are 82 people in this same population having the age below 15 years. So simply by looking at the cumulative frequency, we get this information. So that's why cumulative frequency is important. Now what are ogive and how to create the ogive? Simply, it's a graphical representation of what we have discussed till now. It's a pretty bad drawing because I've occupied the middle part. It will be hard for me to draw the graph. Anyways, I'm trying to draw the graph, say, so simply, let's take the graph at this point. So this is the ogive of our interest. So what we'll be doing here, we'll be simply placing, so this is y axis and this is x axis. So we'll be placing the cumulative frequency in the y and the variable in the x. So the x axis, what we'll have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and so on. But the value of cumulative frequency, well, how can we put? So 5, 15 is up to 130. So how can we put it here? Let's say, put it uh, onto the gap of 30 so that uh, so gap of 20 say so 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 so 20 30 sorry 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 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 so we have in the 20 distance apart now Let's plot this data. So we get uh, the age 10. Uh, I haven't calculated the age 10. So it says 11. And the cumulative frequency is 15. So here somewhere, it will be somewhere here. Now say age is 12, cumulative frequency 42. So the age uh, somewhere will be somewhere here. Now age is 14, frequency 60. Uh, so age is 13, frequency 60. So here it will be exact 60 here. Now age is uh, 14, frequency 66. So here it will be 66 means somewhere here. Now here age is 16, frequency one, uh, age is 15, frequency 82. So here somewhere of 82 means somewhere here. And say uh, the age is 16, frequency 120. So here it will be 120 means here. So what we get a graph. Now if we join all of these dots. So what we get is a curve. This is called Ojai. So ogive, as I've told you, it's simply a graphical representation of cumulative frequencies in the y-axis and the variables in the x-axis. So here it is a variable mean age in years. And here it is cumulative frequency or simply you can, you can write it f sub c. Okay, so that's the way of calculating the ogive and this is the graphical representation of that. And we've seen that importance of cumulative frequency in many cases, uh, in case of the group data analysis, if we need to find the median and mode, especially to find the median, cumulative frequency play a very, very important role. Uh, uh, we are going to see how important role played by this cumulative frequency letter. Okay, so that's it. And also, these ogive graphs are important because from these ogive graphs, we can actually derive uh, the quartile distributions. I'll be t t t telling you what is quartile distribution. Now, you, uh, if you understand what is quartile distribution, we can extrapolate these graphs onto this x-axis and wherever they are intersecting with the x-axis, will be the different quartile numbers, quartile 1, 2, and 3. We can get this from this ogive. Okay, so that is again another importance of this ogives.
Okay, so that's it. And I hope this video is helping you. Thank you.